Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donata White and I help you simplify your life and your business and get to the good stuff. Today is Vlogmas Day 10 and I've got a lot of filming to do today for my online course, The Visual Content Academy. So I thought it would be fun to do a get ready with me filming edition. This is how I get ready for every single one of my videos where I look all you know, done up, not the ones where I look like this. <laughs> Basically, all I've done so far is I've brushed my teeth and done my skincare routine. So I'm ready to do hair and makeup. So let's get ready. Okay, so first it's time for hair. I like to do my hair first because I like to have it kind of like settle in while I'm doing my makeup. I don't like it so, so, you know, ringlet curls. So I'll curl it and then let it kind of calm down while I'm doing my makeup and then everything looks perfect. I'm gonna be using this six in one um, Zara, X-A-R-A, -A, curling iron that I got on Amazon. So you can actually change out the size and shape of the wand depending on the look you're going for. I typically keep it on the one and a quarter because I like big loose curls for my length of hair. My hair is actually really long. So um, the larger size actually works well. So I'm gonna plug this in and let it heat up and then we'll get started curling. Okay, so I'm done for right now. You can see it's very uh, beauty queen uh, prom hair at the moment, and I've got some of it pinned up. Um, I'm gonna go do my makeup. The reason I didn't do the very front is because I'd have to pin that back anyway as I'm doing my makeup, so I just leave it. I do all the rest of my hair except for this little front piece, and I leave it pinned up right here for volume and right here to just get it out of my face, and then I'll do my makeup, I'll come back, and I'll like, redo whatever pieces have flattened out too much or um, didn't quite retain their curl and then I start filming. So it's an egg of time. Let's go. Okay, so now it's time to get my makeup on. I'm actually not going to show you every single product I'm using because everything is something you've seen on my channel before. So I'm just going to kind of describe the look and then you can watch me do it for fun. So what I like to go for on camera is more of a defined neutral eye with a winged liner and big lashes some softly defined brows, pink cheeks, pink lip, and a little bit of highlight. So something that's kind of a polished natural-ish look. I don't really like to go for anything too dramatic on camera, unless of course it's like a makeup tutorial for that dramatic look. But if I'm just filming one of my courses, I don't want my makeup to actually be distracting from the material that I'm presenting. And we actually go over this inside Visual Content Academy as well, how to put together your on-screen look. Um, so when it's more of an educational video, I just stick with the look that I just described. So let's get started doing it.
Okay, makeup is done. Time to fix uh, this little front part of my hair. And then, time to film. So hair and makeup are both done. I'm now just doing a little bit of finishing spray in my hands to make my hair nice and shiny and smooth everything out because it is summer in North Carolina and that means humidity and frizz. So doing some anti-frizz. So here is the final on-screen look. As you can probably tell, it is basically the exact same as every other educational video that you've seen on my channel or in any of my courses. I like to keep things consistent. I like to keep the makeup pretty polished but non-distracting when I am delivering educational content. So that's what you got here. And it's time to go film for the Visual Content Academy. Thank you guys so much for watching this Vlogist Day 10 video and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogist Day 11. Bye.